Hey guys, this particular video is going to be dedicated to showing you the difference between method of joints and method of sections. So let's start off by analyzing some standard looking truss like this. Let's say it's got a fixed support just here and a roller support just here and external force of 20 kilonewtons. Let's analyze the external forces acting on this truss due to these supports. Well, we know this is equivalent to the supports being replaced with external forces which I've drawn here. Notice the fixed support gets replaced with both a horizontal and vertical force, whereas the roller support just gets replaced with a vertical force. Right? Notice it's also standard notation to assume that the forces are positive upwards and positive to the right, although you can choose whatever direction you like. Just make sure to mention it in your free body diagram. That's, um, that's your general free body diagram of your entire truss sorted. Now let's go into the analysis of what happens inside the bars themselves through method of joints. So this is method of joints. What we're going to do is we're going to analyze a particular joint like this, just here. Then we notice that the external forces pop out. Right. Um, another thing to notice about this is that these forces are always going to be parallel to their members. Right? So this green force is going to be parallel to this member just here, and this green force parallel to its member. Uh, color coordination is important in this particular um, animation. It basically shows that they're of the same magnitude. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, now let's go into method of sections. Method of sections doesn't limit you to choosing any particular joint. In fact, you can choose any particular section of the truss you want, hence the name. Notice in this particular case, I've chosen this particular section and I've created two free body diagrams as a result. I can choose either the left free body diagram, which I've got once I split it, or I can choose the right free body diagram once I split it as well. So notice the forces that, co that come out are, pa are parallel to the members themselves. And, and this green force and this green force are equal in magnitude. I hope that makes sense. 